Hello, today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and a wonderful new feature that recently has been added. This feature will help us all to locate, maintain, sort, and manage our photographs. But before we go into that, let me just touch on one thing we call common sense. I'm going to click on the folders bar here and point to a particular folder. Now, years ago we had a filing cabinet that was usually metal and it had a little slot in the front of the uh, drawer that you put a little label on the front that might say income taxes or it might say bills or it might say uh, house expenses or whatever it might say. And when you pulled the drawer open it was full of manila folders and each one had a particular item inside the folder. It might be heating oil it might be air conditioning, it might be repairs, it might be whatever it was. So I keep my pictures the same way. Here's my metal filing cabinet. I call it pics. You can call it photographs, photos, whatever you like. I call my metal filing cabinet with a little label on the front pics. I yank open the drawer and there's my manila folders inside noting each event, the date, what's in the folders. That That's pretty easy for me to do and it makes good sense for me. Okay, let's close this up and see how our new feature works. I'm going to click on this third button from the left which you're all familiar with, flashcard copy move. Except this time it's been made much easier than it was before plus much more facility. Okay, I've got my memory card from the camera already plugged into the reader so QImage Ultimate has found my card it tells me I've got 92 images on the card and that takes care of the top part. The bottom part called operations is the destination. Okay, in my case I know I want to send one set of photographs to the C drive, that's where I work on it, and a backup copy to my D drive, my other hard drive inside the computer. Now you can do external drives, you can do whatever you like, flash, flash drives, anything you like but you have to know the drive letter. That's pretty easy. Well, anyway, you just click on this row here and it says browse and it tells me I'm browsing in the C drive and all I have to do is find my filing cabinet. PIX. That's it. Click OK. That's how PIX got in there. And I do the same thing with the D drive. The right side, that's my folder. That's the one I want to name because each time I come back with pictures on the camera it's from a different event. So this guy I just typed in Railroad Train Museum March 5th 2011 then I right clicked and I said copy that to all the rows so I can't make a typo. Okay, And I'm all set to go. Now all I gotta do is click go but before that I just want to mention this I don't have to mess with anymore. It's there because my filing cabinet is my filing cabinet. Okay, And one other thing is that you can, if you want to, change this copy to move. If I do that, when as soon as I move my pictures, the card, the memory card, will be erased, and I can go out, put it in the camera, and go out and take more pictures without having to reformat and all that kind of stuff. So you can do it that way too. I'll leave it on copy so I don't forget. Okay, we're ready to move. I'm just going to click go. That's all there was to it. So I click go. And as you notice, it says transferring files, 184 files. Okay, that's 92 going to two places. Yep, that equals 184. So I guess we're in good shape. All we got to do is wait a moment and... And we're just about there. Okay, now QImage Ultimate is giving us a status report and it says 184 files transferred, nothing skipped, no errors, and it went to these two locations. Okay, good. And guess what? There's our pictures from the card. Already up there, went right to the new folder. We're all set to go. And we're going to move on and show you some more stuff here. And through the magic of video there. and a little bit of space travel and time travel, we've projected ourselves about three hours into the future. I feel a little bit older myself. Okay, you can tell by the colored file names that we've done some tweaking to our pictures. We've made some brighter and some darker, and we may have cropped some or added some sharpening. 
Regardless, we've worked on our pictures and we've created better pictures and we've done quite a few of them and we might even have emailed some. Regardless, what we want to do now is copy any of these new filter files that we've created over to our backup folder, which is on the D drive in my case, and we want to make both folders identical. Okay, let's go to our flashcard copy move again. And as you can see, we have unplugged our memory card from the reader, so source reverts to the last time I used it. No problem, source is a button. So we want to click source and select the source folder. Well, what's our source folder? Well, we'll slide down to our filing cabinet, which is PICS, and then we'll slide down. We open the drawer, and we're looking through the folders inside of the drawer, and we find our train museum. That's our source. Okay, close that, and now we need a destination. Okay, so we go to File, Send Source Folder to a Destination Folder. Okay. Now this is browsing in the D drive because QImage has a good memory. And it's already knows where PIX is because we played with it. And we're selecting our same identical train museum folder. We say OK. And QImage is just giving us a heads up and it's saying from CPIX train museum to DPIX train museum. Is that OK with you? And what do you want me to copy? All the files, new files only, whatever. Well, in this case, I can say all the files. And I say go, and zingo, there it is. It copied 47 files, and it skipped all the rest. Why did it skip it? Because they were already there. That's all. Made it one, two, three, easy. Okay, I'm going to close this up for a moment. And I want to show you a few things here before we move on. One of them is, when I did this transfer of source to destination in the old version we had to fiddle in here we had to make another row we had to transfer other and things like that we don't have to touch anything anymore the only time you'll touch this bottom section is when you take more pictures come back with your memory card click in here type in whatever the event and the date was and right click and say copy it to the next folder and you're all set. That's the only time you'll do this. When we're transferring files from source to destination, we no longer need to fiddle with this box. We're going to go to File and Send Folders To. Okay, like that. Or the source, we're going to select our source here. Okay, let's go on and show you a few more tricks we can do here. Here we transferred over the images from one folder and the other files we created and so on. But supposing instead of clicking just source like that, we clicked on the filing cabinet. Okay, we went back up here and we went to the filing cabinet and I clicked on pics. Okay, just like that. Now by clicking on pics as our source, we have all the pictures that are in the filing cabinet. All those manila folders are showing up here as if that we open the cabinet and we say, hey, I want to take make copies of everything in the, in the whole file, okay? Well, we can do that just by clicking our source as pics. Now, if you said go, it would start transferring every picture in that filing cabinet over to the D drive. As long as you selected that destination as pics, everything would just transfer over. Well, supposing, though, that you didn't want to do all of them, okay? You just wanted to do a certain few, and you wanted to delete some. Well, you can go right up here and say Photos, and then scroll down to where you didn't want it to go anymore. Hold down the Shift key, and all of those are no longer going to be transferred. How do we know that? They have brackets, okay? You can see the brackets, all right? Now, with that you can say off that would turn off everything all the folders all the files all the transfers are bracketed which means they won't get transferred okay or you can pick individual ones just like this say well I want to send that but I don't want to send this and so on and so forth 
so you really have full control over exactly what you want to transfer. Okay, let's go on to a, another step. I want you to understand here that we could select source as C colon, period. And in that case, you could transfer all the files on the entire C drive over through your network into another computer. You could actually do that. It may take you a while, you take a nap, a snooze, and a supper, but when you got done, you'd have an exact replica of what's on this C drive on the other C drive. So you can see how versatile and wonderful this program has become. A couple of things I want to touch on. We have edit and we have settings. And as I told you in the beginning, I like to do things simple. But if you want to, you have all these options. You have wonderful stuff in here if you want to take advantage of it. For example, I'll just show you one item, okay? If I click on auto rename, I could type in here trains and put a year or a date or a month of the whole thing in here and it would start naming every picture train 1, train 2, train 3, just like that. So you got so much versatility you can do anything you want. You can place your raw fold photos in a raw folder separate, you can name it, you can make JPEGs, you can make TIFFs, you can put them in separate folders. You have all the versatility you could possibly want. But as you see I have no check marks. I like to keep it simple and just run my stuff. Okay, but I did want to show you that so you know exactly what you can do. Okay, I guess we've covered most of it. We thank you very much for listening. And all your files that you transfer will always be safe. They won't be corrupted. They won't be lost. They won't be damaged. And they won't be erased. You've got perfect control and complete confidence. Thank you again. We'll talk to you next time.